Hey guys, Thomas from Team Soccer also here. Come at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Mark Watch. And we got some interesting picks here, some cool buyouts, some cards you guys are really going to want to look at as well in this Mark Watch. If you guys enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. If you get 100 likes on this video, that'd be great. Subscribe if you've not already. If you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please use my link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. If you guys are looking for any Yu-Gi-Oh! merchandise, uh, head on over to Tapio Cards. They have hats, sleeves, field centers, deck boxes, and more. And when you use code SOCK, you get 5% off. So if you want to get some Yu-Gi-Oh! swag, go, go, go check it out. I don't know. Man, I, I kind of sound like a boomer with that one line. But go check them out. Uh, and we're going to get right into this. Just thank you to all my YouTube channel members. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to support channel, consider being one as well as let me know what cards I'm going over in the next Mark Watch in the comment section below. I love it when you guys give me cards to go over, buyouts I've missed, all that because, hey, I missed some stuff. Now, wanted Seeker Spoils here. Uh, the quarter century is bought out 250, 300. I always said, said how this had low listings and went to 120 then went back to 116 was selling. So I thought it could go even further, but today... It's bought out a lot further than I expected. I thought this would be like a kind of a slow burner up, but no, they just three copies left. If you have a set of these, and I'm going to be honest with you here, this card where there's going to be a lot of these floating around since you know, one every three boxes, you're going to see one. People do want a play set. However, if you ended up paying half of this price, I would probably move them. I just feel like right now with how low the market is, if you say move a set for... 600 650 whatever uh you can get a lot of good stuff that's going to age a lot better than this spread your value around and even if you you know decide you want these back again i feel like they could go back down to 150 but yeah these this is a lot for this quarter century the original right now is about 80 bucks going to 85 here you have a cheap well, copy here for 73 but that's from less than a thousand sales uh 80 to 85 here ridiculous personally uh, then you have the original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye, which this card is used as a one of in the package, along with the one Snake Eye Super 87 here for your quarter centuries 105. I don't think these were that. Oh, no, I guess they were 30s at one point. Never mind. If you got these at 30s or 50s, good job. You made some money. You do have the Ultras here at about four bucks here. Uh, might want to grab these at four dollars while you can, actually, because. They were a lot of money on pre-release and kind of crashed down to two threes here. So fours, not bad at all. It is a one of though, and it is an ultra rare, unlike, you know, the rest that's a secret rare. So I don't feel like this can go too crazy, but I can see it go back up to maybe say a $10 card again. Uh, Black Witch quarter centuries are about the same value here, but they do quickly try on to 250. I thought this card could go up because it's also a waifu card. Uh, so if you're expecting these to go at 250, you're probably right. Uh, we also have the Snake Eyes Flamberg Dragon here at about 50, uh, up to 60. Did this did something in the OCG? Uh, I actually kind of want to see what the originals are. Quarter Century Little Knights 475. Uh, normals are about 100 here, 105 going up to 110. Yeah, when you need two of a card, that's just that's just what happens, I guess, right? The regular Snake Eyes Flamberg Dragon here is about two to three dollars. So you're still keeping an eye out on this. If you can get a set for cheap or like trade for it, might not be a bad idea. Very cool looking card, I'll say that. With the regular Black Witch here being about 24, 25, you can get away with two very easily. I have started seeing more builds kind of max on these cards because they are good, uh, which isn't bad, but. I still per and you know it's just it's a it's a nice engine. I actually saw TG using this engine. Uh, funny enough, uh, it's man, it really does suck that they had to make both pieces a secret rare. If they made the one of a secret and like one of the other girls, even just Black Witch, and Ultra, it would have helped a little bit. But I guess they do look pretty nice at the very least here. Now OTS twenty three. Uh, something I've noticed about some openings I've been seeing, including one I had on my own. Is that they you are not getting these supers equally distributed or anything close here? Uh, we're gonna go through more of that while but but first we're gonna go through these ultis. Enemy control is 60. It looks really nice if it has a swirl. Kurakara is about 50 here. And big welcome labyrinth is at about 48 here. Pulling the rug is about four to six dollars here. Now, 
people are pulling this, but I have seen this card as well as the lab pieces being pulled the least. This set really likes to give you the really bad trap card, whatever it's called, and then the super heavy bike. Uh, they love giving out those supers a lot. I noticed in one of my openings, like the the, and I'm not even kidding when I say this. The distribution that I've been seeing when I see people open up their packs at locals, some openings up on YouTube, uh, is really ridiculous with how they're doing. Maybe it's a clumping issue, perhaps, but I've seen less pulling the rugs and cuckoo cards, and I feel like every third pack has a super heavy super. It's really, really bad. I mean, you see this also reflecting the prices. Torbies are threes. Cuckoos are about going up to the $3 mark. Emergencies are two and a half. Preventers are two. Now, granted, these are meta relevant cards here, you know, tier one. The crows here are about 50 cents. A lot of people like the common crows because, hey, you know, common only. Plus, OTS commons look very nice. Uh, there's a DD crow there for 75 cents. What did I just see? I was paused if I saw a curl on this page, but okay, okay all right. Uh, Ulti Utopia, speaking of picks that you should be getting now, these ultis are $9. I mean, that is way too cheap for an ultimate or Utopia. Uh, one of the reasons why this went down, and I never really thought about it, only because the ulti not only brought something new and people like ultis more, but the ulti was so cheap. But we did get a quarter century of this as a promo in the tins. And as you guys see here, they were about uh, you know, uh, 14, 15 here. They did start crashing when we got that quarter century. I still think this is a great ultimate to pick up, get a set of uh, by far. I mean, being a, uh, you know, a protagonist ace monster, if we get the uh, double or nothing package back in the meta, uh, we'll see this be seeing more play. People are going to want the ulti, especially because you can pair it with the ulti lightning as well, which is a card that is about $31 here, uh, getting kind of cheaper, 31 33 uh still a good card to hold on to even if they make a core century i mean you're not going to beat an og ulti even with the new uh technology people are actually going back to the older ultis a lot of people like these ots ultis way more uh speaking of which sky strike array we saw this as low as 12 to 14 dollars on my um market watch uh which was absolutely crazy in fact if we look at the sales here you can see some of the near mids here at like 14 uh, I started having a uh, really bad seizure on stream. Uh, I really triggered my gag reflex seeing how far these fell, especially when we're getting the new Sky Striker card. Even though it's not really good in Sky Striker, I guess it's better than Isalia, but still not that great. Uh, $18 here going up to 20 going up to 25 26 So if you got those cheaper copies on stream, by the way, stream at 12 p.m. Central, or not 12 p.m., 10 p.m. Central every Tuesday, and you got those copies for 12 to 14 well... Good job. You uh you made your money back for sure once it bottoms out here. Uh we don't really have a wall until then either. We just have two play sets there. Uh a Luber here also really low, about 13 bucks here. I mean Despia is doing nothing, but to see this fall so badly uh is quite crazy. It's not as bad as the branded fusion, which I don't want to show me over here. Uh, Brand of Fusion being barely holding on to 30 for dear life here. Uh, in fact, we're seeing the copies here at 29s mostly now. You know, going even further down. 28 listings though, so at least these are selling. I mean, people want their play sets uh, of this card. If you wait to get this card, well, that was definitely the move here. Uh, still not a bad card to get. We do have OTS 22 out of the circulation here. So maybe these can at least hold 30 going up to 40. Uh, Reapers here being about, let's see what they are today, uh, $16, $18 for your cherries over here, uh, still really, really cheap, again, if you know how to play this card, it's absolutely really good, I feel like a lot of people just don't want to play this card, because they just don't know how to optimize, or they'd rather have another hand trap. Herald of Orange Light Supers are about $1 to $2 here, I'm really shocked this card has not gone up, since it's at 3 and being used, but whatever, I guess. Dimensional Prison Super Rares. Want we'll to check up back up on these. Want we'll to look at what light plays are first. Uh, twenty seven. Not bad. Not bad. Near mental what thirty five? Yeah, about thirty bucks here, going up to thirty five. Not bad for your Super D prisons. These are always worth some money, actually. But man, I do wish I got some more of these. I actually, don't have my own, unfortunately. But this is definitely the version I want to get. 
Uh, definitely high on my priority list, but... Well, it's kind of in the middle, only because I had these at once, and then I got rid of all of them but one, and then I got an offer I couldn't refuse on the one copy I had, so... Yeah. By the way, your commons and every version is worth some money. I mean, the commons are threes, if you, uh, going up to fives. If you have the maximum gold versions, those are three bucks as well. Test Tiger here. I want to look at some glad beasts here, uh, since I haven't seen this in a while. So your near mint light plays, 110. You So you basically got to place it here for 110. So 330, okay. And then they go up to 170 a pop here. So if you don't care about that first edition stamp, Hey, 110, not bad. 117, well, no, that's for a German. Uh, and you have another German here for about 93, which is a lot better than the 178, 200 here. Near mints are 300, going up to 400. I mean, it's a glass ulti, but man, is that a lot of money uh, for a Test Tiger. Unlimiteds might be your best friend. Secret Rare, in fact, you know, I actually do want to see what the mob plays are out of curiosity here. First and mods are about 130s. Ugh. That's so bad. With unlimited being about, yeah, about 100. Might as well just get the light place at that point. Secret Test Tiger here. Uh, these were about 6 bucks. Now you got 8s. First sets are about 10 for light play. Uh, kind of goes up to about 12 here. If we go first. Yeah, about 12s near mints. There's only a page left, actually. Wow. So if you're like those near mints, you might want to. Get them while you could here. You have your originals here as well. Uh, we go near mint light plays on these. We have about 34 listings, 6 bucks, going up to 7, 8. We go first edition, 21 listings, uh, which is quite shocking to see them as low as 6 for light plays, maybe 8 for near mints. 9 listings on the near mints, though. They do go up to 20, so. Huh. These, you know, really good condition test tigers are going. You guys might want to get your first sets while you can. Uh, secrets look really good. I actually don't like the, how the ultra looks per se, but eh, I think that's just more of a me thing. Uh, I do love how this card looks, so I will say that. Uh, Gladiator Beast Heraclinos. We've gone up uh, over this before. Uh, today, these are about, you got 20 listed. We're going to go without photos here to get rid of the phone copies. 14 listings, 68 Goes up to 136. Okay, I mean, I feel like this card could be get bought at any point here. But hey, light plays for 60s. Uh, that's not bad, honestly. And they do. How's the sale history on that? You got two light late plays selling at in September here. Your mint selling. They're light play. Yeah, they do sell. But I feel like this is a card that people mostly get in person. Uh, Turbo pack cards don't sell as much on TCG player. Or just online in general. But I see them exchange hands a lot at events. So... It's kind of the place to get them because a lot of people want to look at it in person. Uh, and I don't blame them. Heraclino Secrets here. We've got Near Mint Light Plays. 58 for your Light Plays going up to 65 for a Near Mint here. First editions are, you might as well get the first eds at 73. Goes up to 95. I'd much rather get an ulti though. Samurai, I told people to get this at $5. And a, kind of an older card you play in Glad Beasts. Well, if you got them, well, 30 to 40 bucks right now. I went over this card when I got by and I said you won some money. Well, it's sticking. 15 listings too. And Ritari here. I went over this when it was bought out. Uh, this is a one up, but it's a very good card. 19 going up to 23. Hey, this used to be about 7 8 bucks and got bought out to 50. Uh, they are cheaper now at the 18 23. Uh, dollar mark. What are first sets at? Yeah, 73.90. I mean, first, it's the Crossroads of Chaos Secret. It's going to be at least three, four times the value. Uh, I would definitely just get an Unlimited and call it a day. Maybe focus on all the other high rarity stuff. Although, if you get a deal on the first side, it's it's not bad. It is extinct as well, so you got to be careful. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. I'll see you guys on a video on Saturday. Leave a like, all that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.